Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we're going to take a look at the Bohr atom from a different perspective. It actually, once they began to realize what the structure of the atom was, a single electron moving around the nucleus at very high speed in an orbital path, at least that's what they thought at the time, they were kind of hit by this big mystery. Because at the time we knew that any charged particle that accelerates and acceleration can come in various forms. For example, if you have a small particle, let's say an electron, and it accelerates from v equals zero to v equals some high velocity, so if there was some very large acceleration on the electron, we knew that the electron then emitted some sort of electromagnetic radiation. X-rays, for example, were created by accelerating electrons to very high speeds over a short distance. Another way in which the electron or charges can emit electromagnetic radiation is when you take an electron and you move it back and forth, you wiggle it back and forth, up and down. So when you have a charged particle that exhibits oscillatory motion, it would also cause an electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic wave to emanate from that object. So both of these are examples of accelerating charges. And it is no different for a charge that goes around in a circular path. Because as an electron is going around in a circle, it may not be changing its velocity, but it's certainly changing its direction. And a change in direction is also acceleration. In this case, it's called centripetal acceleration. So from what we knew from classical mechanics, any charged particle that goes around the nucleus at a very high speed like that in a circular path should be radiating energy. The problem with that is that if an object radiates energy, it loses energy. And if it loses energy, it must be going slower because ultimately the energy of an electron is simply the combination of potential and kinetic energy. So the total energy for any particle is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy, which is of course created by the approximate position between the electron and the, the nucleus. But the kinetic energy is the one that would be diminished as it's rating out of energy. It would lose velocity as it's losing kinetic energy. As it loses velocity, the electron would begin to spiral inward. And eventually, you could see that every electron in the universe would be spiraling inward into the nucleus and the atom would simply cease to exist. In other words, the universe as we know it would cease to exist. We, of course, know that's not the case. The universe is still there. Electrons still seem to be zipping around the nucleus everywhere we look. So why is this not happening? So for other words, why isn't the electron sending out energy, causing it to lose energy, causing it to slow down, and causing it to collide with the nucleus? That was the big mystery for quantum mechanics, for the study of the Bohr atom, for the study of the atoms in general. And so that was a problem they had to solve. Somehow, electrons were not radiating energy and therefore staying in orbit. And we're going to explore why that is so, and that is some of the fundamental theories and some fundamental properties of the quantum mechanics we're going to be studying in the Bohr atom. And there you go, another mystery to be solved. 